All right, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back. How the heck is everybody doing today? So, I went to the mailbox today, as I usually do, but uh, normally I just find bills and uh, coupons for eyebrow waxing and bronzing sprays and, you know, just all the fun things that you normally find in your mailbox. But uh, today I had this nice package in there from Don't Talk to Robots, which is exciting. So a while back around spinach day, we did a quick trade for some Allen and Ginter cards. But uh, he said he's throwing in some extra stuff in here, which is pretty obvious because it was only supposed to be a couple cards. And this is this is a hefty mama here. But uh, like I say, this is from Don't Talk to Robots. So I'm sure you guys have already heard about them. If not, do yourselves a favor. Go on over and check out the channel. Absolutely hilarious. I wish I had some kazoos so I could do like a a tribute. I could do like a, a kazoo tribute intro, intro, or uh, I can't pull off the your mom jokes. Like I, I could give it a try, but it's just not going to hit right. So do yourself a favor. Go check out Don't Talk to Robots. It's one of the funniest card break channels there is. Uh, great stuff. You know what drew me in about Don't Talk to Robots? What really pulled me in and made me start watching the channel is the name. The name Don't Talk to Robots really hits home with me. I've seen the movie Blade Runner enough times that I know what happens once robots become fully self-aware. Not a good scene. Don't talk to robots. I don't trust robots. If you guys haven't seen interviews with that Sophia, that Sophia robot that they created a long time ago, I'm pretty sure it's named Sophia. Uh, it's one of the creepiest things you'll ever see in your life. Elon Musk came right out and said they need to shut that program down because it's going to become self-aware and it's going to become a problem for humanity. And then you watch interviews with this thing and you understand exactly what he's talking about. It's one of the most terrifying things you'll ever see in your life when they start interviewing this robot and it starts talking about its plans to overthrow the planet and start hijacking cruise missiles and putting people into people zoos and if that's the future we're living in, I'm with you guys. Don't talk to robots. Not yet. We don't I don't trust them. But anyways, that's not what this is about. I like I'm sure you've all seen Blade Runner. But uh I I don't trust robots. I grew up watching anime. I know what happens, so I'm with you there. I'm with you there, guys, you know. Nice friggin' robots got no place around here. I just cut myself on this somehow. How did I cut myself? What is this? Some Don Russ packs? What is this? What is this? Popcorn? It looks like popcorn. Pop up puzzle cards. I've never seen those. That looks like a bag of popcorn. Am I crazy? Tell me that does not look like a bag of microwave popcorn right there. That must have been what they were going for. Pop up puzzle cards. Hey, look at that baby. Woo -hoo! That is a shiny boy right there. All right, we're going to have to find room for this guy back here. So uh, we'll do that after today's video. So for now, you there you go. You're going to hang out with uh, Captain Cat. What do we got here? We got all sorts of goodies in this. All right, we got some pro set from, or not pro set, some leaf set. We got tops big baseball cards. I like these guys. I've opened those before. All right, so, so we got two of these really cool looking pop up puzzle cards. Looks like popcorn bags. It's not popcorn bags. Pop up puzzle cards. We got two leaf set baseball. We got two leaf set baseball packs here from '92. You know what 92 means? That means there's going to be some good Blue Jays in there. And then we got four of these big tops baseball cards. I've opened up a couple of these. I really like the uh, like the comic strip cartoony looking backs on them or whatever they have. But And then, I believe this is the cards from the trade in here. Nice looking card, says thanks. You know what? You're welcome. You're welcome. Alright, so we got a little note here. It says, yo Steve, that's me. My name, my name is Steve. 
Congrats again on the awesome spinach day. Thanks for the trade and keep on rocking. Don't talk to robots. I agree with you, man. I'm with you there. Don't talk to robots. All right, and here's the stuff from the... Oh, we got another one in the back. Look at that. We're on fire here with the stickers today. Where is this guy going to go? We're really, we're really running out of room on our little sticker display here. But uh, don't worry. This is a good problem to have. Look at these beautiful stickers, man. I am so happy with those. Those are gorgeous. Don't, don't talk to robots, guys. This will be a reminder. Every time you see these back here, just remind yourself of... The dangers of talking to robots. I don't want you to go out and watch Blade Runner every day or anything like that, but uh, you need to remind yourself daily. That's Sophia. She's uh, she's not your friend. So I was only missing about five cards for the entire set to finish the Alan Ginter base set. And Doug reached out to me and said he's got three of them. So at this point, I'm only missing one card. One base card to finish the entire 350 set from Alan and Ginter. So... I really appreciate you helping me out with that there, Doug. So we got Garcia, we got Corbin, and we got Fred McGriff. What a legend Fred McGriff was, right? Like, one of the best Blue Jays back in the day. Obviously, they had to trade him away before they won the World Series, but that trade was one of the reasons they won the World Series. So there you go, Fred. You are the DeMar DeRozan of the Toronto Blue Jays. So thank you for your services. All right, I really like those stickers there. What are we going to open today? Let's do a little mix. So what we'll do, we're going to do a little melange, if you will, a little mix here. What we're going to do, we're going to break this up. So we will set aside two packs of the big, one of the popcorn and one of the leaf for another video. And we will do two of the big, one of the popcorn, one of the leaf today. So let's start with these big baseball cards here. I can't believe how good a condition these are in. This is amazing. This is pristine condition here. Okay, so our t-shirt card, the company store. If you guys want one of those t-shirts, don't get your hopes up. This is 35 years old, 25 years old. I don't know how to do math. It's not going to work. You're not getting those shirts. Don't get your hopes up. We got Tom Candiotti, Kelly Gruber, there we go. I told you the Blue Jays are in here. Look at the backs on these cards. Kelly Wayne Gruber, robbed of the triple play in the playoffs. Look at Gruber there. Look at that Mule. What a legend he was. Juan Castillo, Devon White. I told you the Blue Jays. We got the mojo going today. There's Devon White on the Angels though. Blue, we're on fire here. They're not wearing the right jerseys, but we got all the Jays here. There's Devon, there's Jack, there's Greg Swindell, and Nick Eseski. I like these big baseball cards. They're always fun to open up. I see these at the flea market all the time, but they are not in good condition. They look like they've been living in the bottom of somebody's couch for about 20 years. Same with that shirt. You want that shirt? Sorry, you can't have it. We got Roger Clemens. I, what's going on with all these Blue Jays in here? I've I've uh, manifested this from the uh, I've manifested this from the wax packs here. We got George Brett. We got Barry Bonds. Regular Barry Bonds. Franklin Stubbs. Jose Lind. Harold Reynolds. And Rick Sutcliffe. Look at that dude. Looks like Kenny Loggins or something like that. Like, you don't get haircuts like that anymore in sports, guys. Come on. Get your acts together. All right, we're going to do one of these leaf set from 92. So, hopefully we can carry on that Blue Jays mojo from the last pack we got there. We got Milt Coiler. Terry Pendleton. Milt Thompson. Hal Morris. Brent Wayne, Brent Maine, Pete O'Brien, Jeff Montgomery, Edgar Martinez, Greg Myers, there's our first Blue Jay, Greg Myers, I don't actually remember Greg Myers, I'm not going to lie, Jack Armstrong, 
David Cohn. There's a Blue Jay. He's just in the wrong jersey again, but that's okay. We got Johnny O. Oh, there we go. There's a guy I remember. One of the best. One of the best first basemen there was. So underrated. Steve Finley. And there's our checklist. All right, we're going to do one of these popcorn bags here. I I don't think I've ever opened these. I, actually, I know I've never opened these. So what is this? Okay, so we got Chili Davis, Eddie Murray, uh, checklist, checklist, yep. There's our three-piece puzzle piece. Somebody's uh, torso. Pretty cool. And then we have a Kirby pocket. So what are these? They're just pop-ups? We got some Ikea instructions here. There's three instructions on here, but that's going to take me four hours to figure this out. I did it. It didn't even take me four hours, and I figured this out here. So there we go. Look at that guy, Julie. We got Kirby Pocket on the twins. That's a pretty cool looking pop-up thing right there. Really like the look of these. That thing's freaking awesome. Look at that little guy right there. Look at that little scoundrel. He's come to life. With only four and a half hours of effort it took me to figure out those instructions. There you go. There's Kirby Pocket. So shout out to Julie and the Minnesota Twins there. Okay. And now it's time for this. The thing that started all this madness. I, I, don't, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to be doing this for the rest of my life right now. You know, I, I don't know what I've gotten myself into here, guys. So... Um, let's see if we got five cards in this pack. The first three packs we opened out of this blister box only had three cards, or no, sorry. The first three packs I meant to say, uh, only had five cards is what I meant to say. So the first three packs I opened up of this stuff, they were all missing a card, which is absolute madness. Not okay with that top, so you guys got to help me out here. So we have... Nagandi. I always forget who this guy is. See, that's why it just, it just doesn't matter. Who cares? Yes, Jerminski. You got John Lester. And here comes our mini. Is today the day? Are we finally going to pull this highly sought after, this highly coveted spinach card? Nope. We got Martinez. We got Pedro Martinez, the alternate, uh, the black border card. No spinach. We got robbed a card again. Look at this. This is freaking ridiculous. Oh, I don't know what to do here, guys. I've messaged Tops a couple times about this, and I haven't heard back. It's been a couple of weeks now. Look at this. Five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Lester. Yastrzemski. This guy nobody cares about. Tucker and Martinez. That's five. That says six. Me no good at math, but uh, come on here, Tops. You guys are screwing me over with this stuff. I'm supposed to be your best customer with this. You can't leave me out to dry like that, Tops. You guys got to help me out with this stuff. Anyways, though, that's going to be it for this video today. Thanks again to Don't Talk to Robots for that trade. If you guys haven't checked him out, like I say, the link will be in the description for the video. And that's going to be it. Thanks everybody for stopping by, and I hope you all have a great day.